This is my homemade workshop air cleaner, which is based on one of these four inch thick forced air furnace filters. But those filters now cost about $35. So I thought I'd try to make one out of a forced air furnace hammock filter, which only costs $11 and it's almost the same area. And it seems to be very similar material. This filter has a sort of wire mesh to hold the filter material in place, so I'll try to make that out of chicken wire. From experience I know that folding a wire mesh is pretty difficult, so I set up a sort of a jig between two workbenches. I have nails that go through holes here to line up the boards. And I'm using alternate thick and thin layers because I want the pleats to be thin on the one side and thick on the other side. Now with two folds made, I need to start recycling the boards from the bottom. The shorter the end that I'm folding is, the easier it gets. I didn't want to have to deal with too long a tail to keep flipping back and forth, which is why I started in the middle. So after having worked to one end, I went back to the middle and started with the other end. Well, that whole folding thing was not as elegant as I was hoping, but I think I have something that might be useful. I think I'll be able to force the, uh, the filter material onto this. Now I need a box for it, and for that I glued together some silver maple boards. Uh, these actually came from my own sawmill. Okay, pieces are glued, jointed, and planed. Some of it actually came out quite nice. Now it's time to make box joints. The sled was starting to get hard to push, but a few drops of oil in the slots and on the table really makes it slide easy. Alright, got the box joints cut. Box glued together and the chicken wire crammed in there, but it's not exactly a regular spacing, so I need some kind of comb to support this. I got 60.4 centimeters in a box, I need 10.5 folds, which means I got 5.75 centimeters per fold, so I just worked it out on a calculator 5.75. And on this one, I can just use constant calculation, so plus equals. That tells me the next one is 11 and a half. And I just keep pushing equal, and that works out the intervals that I've marked on here already. For the second comb I cut, I drilled holes for where I needed to turn around with the bandsaw blade, which sped things up a lot. Now I just gotta be able to jam that chicken wire onto those combs. Oops! Backwards. Well, it's not as straight as I hoped, and the chicken wire is breaking in a few places, so supports in the middle really help. Got the uh, chicken wire all mounted, and I screwed it down in a few places to hold it down, and there's quite a few places where it just kind of broke, so if you try this, uh, use new chicken wire, not rusty, brittle old stuff. Uh, another way to support the filter material would be just to have a bunch of sticks, and then have the filter go in between those like that. The problem with that is as the air pushes in here, this is going to be inclined to go more like this. It'll just kind of pinch together right here and then this whole area becomes useless. So what I could end up is basically just something like this. So what I'd have to do is not just have sticks to hold it on the edges but also a few sticks here to support that filter material and at that point it gets very complicated 
And if I did it this way, I'd probably say, this is so much work, I should have just used chicken wire. The filter material is a fair bit wider than my chicken wire, so I'm using my table saw as a guide to cut it down to width. I figured I might as well sew those scraps back on the end. The filter is actually three times the area of the box, except I ran out in this corner and I had to use some blue shop towel. I need some sort of fan to pull the air through my filter, and for that I figure I'll cannibalize this oscillating fan. I need it to be very shallow this way, so I'll have to shorten that shaft and mount the blade a little closer. I'm going to take the gearbox off the back and use those mounting holes. Unfortunately, the uh, wire goes through these plastic parts and I'd really rather not cut the wire. Now I just have to grind a new groove in there for a snap ring. I ground a flat spot on here and shortened that shaft some more and I also ended up widening that ring slot so that when I put the fan blade on here I can lock it on with a ring like this because I lost the screw thread that I had. Now I need to mount the fan motor in here and I'll make some kind of bracket out of a piece of plywood for that. I'm drilling a few extra holes to allow for airflow to cool the motor. Now I still need to make sure that all the air that this fan pulls comes through the filter and not just circulating through here. So I need to put a baffle in here and I've already glued some rails in place to hold it and I'm going to make it out of this which came from the back of a piece of discarded furniture. I glued some blocks of wood on the back to give more hold to the screws. This air cleaner started to look quite nice so I figured it was worth a coat of green paint. So now let's try this thing out. I've got a fan to circulate air all around the shop. I'm going to deliberately make a lot of airborne dust by grinding up some MDF on the belt sander. Gross. So I think I have the dust evenly spread now, so these are the readings. And I'll just let that run for about 20 minutes and see how it decays. So this is a bit over 20 minutes later. So this larger air cleaner is able to cut the airborne dust levels in my shop in half every three to four minutes, whereas my older air cleaner takes about seven or eight minutes to do the same thing. So this has probably got much higher CFM 
I'd guess probably about 450 to 500. And this is what the old filter looks like right now. It looks really, really dirty. But having just tested it, it still works almost as good as new. It just doesn't get the particle count quite as low as it used to. I built it four years ago and I made a video about it, of course. And here's what I actually made it for. It's to blow air over the wood stove and clean the air in my big shop at the same time. 